Hello Sagittarius, thank you for tuning in to your general read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Witch's Tarot by Ellen Dugan. That is Ellen Dugan, right? Yep, right at the top. And for the support of Oracle Cards, the Psychic Tarot for the Heart Oracle Deck by John Holland. Doing my best not to add words in that aren't actually there, so. <laughs> um, Sagittarius. Are we good? This, this goes in like this. Okay, and now we got this. We got a couple sideways cards. For whatever reason, let's just pull these out. This is more you. Okay, that's more you, but it's going to pull into this part here. Okay. This is going through the whole... Alright, so this situation... I feel the best way to talk about this is to say... The Ten of Wands is here. I feel like through the whole through the whole situation. This is Sagittarius, right? Yes. Through the whole situation, you get the Ten of Wands. It's a lot of work, but like, especially the depiction in this deck, you'll notice that person is successfully carrying all ten wands. And I'm questioning that, but I really no, they are. He, this person has all ten. I'm assuming there's 10 there. It's hard to count them, but as far as I'm concerned, they're, con they're carrying all 10 successfully. And they have a destination in mind. There's a beautiful city up ahead of them. A beautiful, ornate city ahead of them. And they're looking to get up to the city. They're going to take they're gonna take this burden. But they're, they're not taking it just to just take it. They're not just dragging it up this hill for the fun of it. They have purpose, and they're going to use this going forward. It's going to pay off, and it's going to serve them in the long run. So you're going, this situation, it's heavy. But you're you're succeeding, you're going to succeed, you're going to work to get to where you want to go, you have a destination in mind, a beautiful destination, so it's worth it. It's a destination that's worth it. This is face down. Love abounds. Now the reason I feel like this is face down in this reading, it comes right with the Ten of Wands, drags through this whole situation, because you expect great rewards, but when it's face down, you're hoping. You don't feel it's guaranteed, but you're very hopeful of it. And you're that's that's what's pulling you forward. That's what's getting you to keep going. That's why you're not giving up. That's why you're holding through through the whole thing. And this is for you and for whatever situation. Like this is the motivator through the whole thing. Cool beans. Okay. So when you start off in this, you got a bunch of cards. <laughs> There's four, actually. Um, let's see if we can get them all together. you got the Page of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and the Confront. All this is in a pile. This is all explaining how you're getting into this situation, how you're even getting into it. Is how you're even getting into it. You're feeling like you have to. The Eight of Swords makes me feel like you have to. The, the Page of Swords is the reason you feel like you have to is because you're afraid if you don't, there's no hope. If you don't get up there and just do it yourself, it's not going to make it. So if you expect this reward, you expect this to work out, you can't depend on somebody else to do it. You're going to have to go forward and you're going to have to make it happen. The seven, the seven of Wands is you, you're looking at this not only if you want it to happen, you need to be the one to do it. You completely feel like you can overcome these challenges. You can stand up to the adversity. You just got to confront yourself and confront the situation and just face it head on. You can do it. You know you can do it. You just got to face it head on. And you feel like, if I want this, I have to do this. And that's how you get involved. That's how this, your complete motivator is what I'm getting for getting involved in the first place. Why you're even doing it. All right. So if you want this to happen, you have to do it yourself. That's what I'm getting. Okay. So as you get involved, though, I'm also getting the situation itself has a hermit card. It's going through kind of this rough period. Um, for this this hermit card, there's a lot of snow going on there, and he's up on this cliff, and I'm just like, that doesn't look like the funnest play to be, place to be in my life. But it's basically saying the situation is not starting off that quick. There's a lot to be desired here. 
that doesn't stop you. You're like, yeah, there's a lot to be desired, so I guess I'm just going to have to get it together and put it together myself. Whatever's lacking, I'll fill in those gaps. And I feel that's you. Um, there's a lot to be desired is what I'm getting with this hermit card. Because it's usually an introspection card. Yeah, I know, and all the other good stuff. But because it's showing up in the environment, I feel like they're saying there's a lot more that has to come, come into play. A lot more that has to be added to the situation for it to really be able to take off. That's kind of like those searching for answers. It needs, it needs more input. It needs more care. And you're just like, well, that's what needs to happen. There I go. I'm just going to have to do it. Because as you're getting into it and as you're going through this situation, as you're going through it, developing it, making more happen, you go from the Seven of Wands to the Nine of Wands, High Priestess, the Seven of Swords, Plus the win lose card here, right on top of it. So this <laughs> sometimes you just want to give in, and every now and then I feel like you just kind of like you just step back for for a minute and take your breath. I feel like you're gonna have to every now and then. I feel like the seven of swords is like you're able to step back every now and then and just take a breath. That's okay because it's almost like you're locking the gate. That's what I'm feeling with this nine of wands. Like you're you're holding your own. You're holding things in place. With that Nine of Wands, I really feel like you're holding things in place. That's kind of the defensive card I'm feeling there. Holding it in place, every now and then stepping away and getting a breath. But you got trumping it, the High Priestess. You know when you can and you know when you can't. You know when you have to hold your ground. You know when you can just kind of leave it be. Because it's, you're constantly, you are constantly working at it. But every now and then you get to step back and take a breath. And the High Priestess is saying... You're finding a way to balance this out. It's almost like you're putting that ten of wands down on a, on a rock and you're sitting back and just taking a quick little cat nap. <laughs> but you're allowed to. You know when you can do this. And it's one of those things where you have to recuperate every now and then. Win or lose, you can't just run yourself into the ground. You're going to have to step back and just give yourself a minute to breathe. And you're going to do that. You're going to be fine. This is, throughout the whole thing, you're just going to have those moments where you have to just kind of Put up the barrier, lock the gate, and just kind of take a minute and just step away and take a breath. Then you'll come back, pick that up, walk through the gate, and go down the, the, the hill a little farther, find yourself another place to, to like, you know, barricade yourself in, put down that ten of wands again, and take your, give yourself a little moment for a cat nap. And you're just, you're taking it piece by piece. You're constantly involved, but every now and then you just got to kind of lock the gate, give yourself a minute to breathe. All right, I'm ready. Pick that stuff back up, and out the door you go again, and here we go a little farther down the way. Because it, it's the Ten of Wands. It's like you're, it's a burden the whole way. you got to work at it the whole way. It's, they're just. I feel like what it's saying here is that every now and then you just got to step away for a minute, take a breath. <sighs> okay, I'm ready. Pick it back up, and here we go. Is this the Five of Cups? The Five of Cups on its side, I feel like what it's saying is here, sometimes it seems like it's better than others. Sometimes it's going to feel like you're, you're succeeding and you're going to make it and it's going to be fine. Other times you're going to feel like you're failing. You're not sure how long you should keep this up and you're just wasting your effort. It ebbs and flows through the whole situation. Sometimes you feel better than others. But it's constant through the whole thing. I feel like you're very dedicated through the whole situation. I don't feel it completely failing. In fact, I don't feel it failing at all. I feel there's moments where you're thinking, oh, this is about to tank. I'm going to lose this whole thing. I'm going to stumble and trip and fall off these rocks and fall off this ledge with these ten wands and I'm going to fall into the ravine and these if, if, that, if the fall doesn't kill me, the ten wands that land on top of me will. Um, it just feels like that every now and then. It's not overcoming you, but it feels like it will. Every now and then, though, you feel like you're succeeding. You're going to make this. It's hard, but I'm doing it. I've gotten this far. I'm going to keep going. It just keeps ebbing and flowing. This is another reason you have to step back, you know, barricade yourself in, put down those ten of wands and just give yourself a little quick cat nap and then rejuvenate yourself, pick them back up and go a little farther. It just ebbs and flows. It's back and forth the whole time. The whole time. As you get nearer to the goal, as you get nearer to this beautiful city that you want to get to that's in the back of that card, things really start to look up. It's almost like within the last ten miles of your journey, you're seeing that city and it just, you see it in the distance and you're just getting closer and closer and you're like, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. And you're getting more and more excited. I'm almost there. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. I'm so close. I can see it. I can taste it. I'm almost there. Then you get there. <laughs> All good. 
It's all good. Um, not seeing any. Um, I'm seeing your your reaction to the situation, but when you get there, I'm getting things are a lot better. Uh, there's, <laughs> I feel you get there. You got the King of Swords, the Three of Cups, and then you got the is that the Seven? Yep, the Seven of Cups. This is how this comes in. It's like you hit this. This is your goal. Like you hit the goal line. Some like. <sighs> There's people here. How this is all working together is that, yeah, okay, you succeeded in this part. You did great. Good job. Job well done. Got a lot more possibilities, a lot more things that need to be done now. And these people want your assistance in getting all these other things done. And this person is telling you how much you're needed and how much more is left to do. You, 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 you successfully did this leg of it. But you were viewing this like this was your goal. You just had to make it to the goal. Now that you attained this goal, now people are like, great, we have a lot more to do. You're just kind of like, oh? Like, oh? <laughs> you got the this card. This I call it, this kid always looks like he's freaked out to me. This kid always looks like he's freaked out to me. It's the Page of Wands. In this deck, it's like, it's kind of like, it's like, you're not giving up. You're still, you just, you just seem to be on autopilot, one foot in front of the other. Like, all right, I guess I'm still going. You got the Queen of Pentacles on her side, and then you got the Death card. You got to make a choice. At this point, you're gonna need to make a choice. It's either I've had enough, and I'm done, and I'm gonna move on, and you're gonna communicate that to whoever this is, this King of Swords. You're gonna be like, "Listen, I got you this far. I gotta get out. I'm sorry." Or, and I feel like the majority of you are gonna do this other one. You're gonna be like. What, what's got to be done next? All right, I'll, I'll take this one. And then you just go right into it. You, you just go right into it. I I don't think that's bad. You're, you're making your decision on what you want. What you feel is necessary, what you feel is best. And you got to include yourself in this, like what's best for you and the situation. If you feel like it's going to run you into the ground, I don't think you're going to do it. And a few of you are going to back out because of that, because it's going to run you into the ground. I think that's a great thing. If you know it's going to do you in and it's not going to serve the situation in the long run, some, sometimes that's the hardest decision to know that the best decision is to step out. That can be very hard. But if it's right for you, you're going to know it. You need to follow your heart. Others of you are going to be like, you know what? More has to be done. I can do it. I want to do it. The situation is worth it. And in you go. Nobody's making a wrong decision from where I'm standing. You know what you're capable of. You know what your life needs. If you're stepping out, it's the best. And you're doing a service to yourself and the situation. It's sometimes that's the hardest decision to make. Others of you who are jumping right in, you, it's worth it to you and you know what you got to do. There you go. But you're the one making the decision. Are you going to continue forward? Because you got this death card. If you're in it, if you're in it, you're you're in it to win it. You're not going to back off until you've gotten to the goal you want. If you're stepping out and you're finished, you're like, no, this 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 what I've already done was a lot, and I feel I felt like that was going to do me in. I'm sorry. I'm glad I could help you with this. You're welcome, and I have to leave. I'm sorry. I'm done. There's no wrong answer. Whatever's right for you, you need to do. And we're there. All right. I think we're done. Thank you for watching. Um, if you'd like a direct reading for me, go ahead and shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.